Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the things we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha ha! It's Christmas season again, and every year we we uh, we have family gatherings with both Paul's family and with Paul's my family, family. <laughs> and and we always also bring food. You know, because in both cases they're they're like potlucks. So with with Paul's family being Filipino, we love Filipino food, of course. We love our rice like, and our chicharron. And what else? <laughs> chicharron. And, you know we have we like the lechon and the crispy pata and, and the adobo mm -hmm. and the pancit all of which are so delicious but and so yet greasy. <laughs> it's greasy mm -hmm. and has a lot of calories and but so good it's also salty it is salty unfortunately uh, I did have two strokes and as a result of those strokes, I have to do some changes. Uh, I, I'm eating healthier and having to cook healthier. And you have so, to pull back a little bit on uh, the salt and the grease. Uh, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so this year, uh, what, what I am fixing as, as, uh, to offer my families uh, is, a, is a more healthy alternative and and it's a a broccoli and apple uh, medley salad so it's going to be uh of course more uh health conscious uh it has fresh uh, fruit of course a lot with, of fresh fruits well not fresh well it's well, it's dried fruit and a lot of dried fruit uh, which is less calories than than the, the doing, a, doing a chicharron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, e even the dressing is a uh, is a uh, made with a uh, with Greek yogurt, which is a low a, fat, which would be much much healthier. Yeah, we do use a little bit of a uh, of mayonnaise, light mayo, light mayo, but that just adds a little bit of body to the to the actual uh, dressing. Uh, and there may be a little bit of bacon bits. But it's just the, for flavor, really. But the bacon is also healthy because it is a low sodium. Uh, it's a low sodium bacon. Bacon that we so, found at the store. Yeah, I don't know how they grow uh, how how they grow pigs to be low sodium <laughs> to make bacon, but <laughs> they but don't feed them Filipino food. Oh, that must be it. <laughs> that must be it. But anyway. Uh, Stick with us because this is what uh, I'm going to be showing you today. So come to the kitchen with us and Colin will whip up this wonderful salad. I hope you can also, it's very easy to follow. You can do it yourselves as well and bring them to your potlucks and your gatherings. So It'll you can have great. a healthier Christmas gathering with your family and friends. So. See you in a minute. So come along with me into the kitchen and let's see what we can cook up on this uh, holiday meal. As you can see right here, I've got some ingredients already laid out. I've already got some broccoli already made, already cut. We have some green onions, some red onions, red sweet onions. We have carrots. We have a a variety of, of nuts being walnuts, pecans, and pepitas. We have or sunflower seeds. And sunflower seeds, sorry. Uh, we have got some, some some bacon that we fried up and it's crispy already and broken up. We have a variety of, of different dried fruits here from, from figs to apricots to cranberries and raisins. We have, for garnishing at the end, we've got some French onion 
some dried French onion, and the spices that we're going to be using for the for the uh, sauce is going to be some black pepper, some crushed sea salt, a little bit of regular salt, some oh that's sugar, sugar, ah. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. <laughs> we have some light mayonnaise and some Greek yogurt, and we're going to fold in just for just for the fun of it a little bit of feta cheese. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to finish up with the broccoli. So I have one more spear that I'm that I'm going to cut up. Now when you cut now when you cut them up, we're not using the stems. In this particular recipe, the stem is not what's being used. So however you can snack on this, it's a nice healthy snack. But in this case, we're not using them. You're gonna and then you're going to put them into little florets. Cut them in, into florets. Cut them into florets, which are the little tops here. Taking off the stems. And into bite-sized pieces. Of course, if Aunt Burrell is watching this, He'll, he'll, she'll put a, uh, a, red, a, a red marker <laughs> on, on that uh, finger of calling. Yeah, she will. But thank goodness Amberella is not here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be embarrassing for sure. Okay, so this is the last of, of, of my florets. I'm going to then add them to the, to the rest of, of my florets here. Of the broccoli. <laughs> now that we have them all, all in here, now it's just a matter of putting in the ingredients that, that we have here so far. So we're going to do in the, the dried fruit. And we're going to do the, the various chopped nuts the diced carrots the red onions and the green onions or scallions or scallions the bacon bits and lastly some of the feta cheese so in the feta cheese I'm just going to be using just not a whole lot but it's just for added flavor it's not the main star of the dish here so about two spoonfuls maybe three and that's about it for this particular case. Now I'm going to take my spoons and I'm going to fold them all together and mix them. I, I kind of made this on my own. However, in looking at various YouTube videos and other magazines, I've uh, other ingredients just kind of came into play, which I didn't think of before so it's actually a collaboration of a lot of different things all right so now that this is now that this is uh, in there I'm gonna set this aside while I make then the sauce okay well the, the first thing that I'm gonna add is one cup of yogurt and in this case I'm using Greek yogurt because it's, it's thicker and a little bit richer and to add some some flavoring, um, I'm using the vanilla flavoring in Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt usually is a lot thicker. So I'm going to be adding a, about a cup.
Yogurt is very good for you, by the way. It's very healthy. It's a probiotic, so it's good for your digestive system as well. And it's a good alternative for a lot of even healthy snacks. So I've got the yogurt, and I'm going to put that in my mixing bowl. Next, I'm going to get some of the light mayonnaise. You could use regular mayonnaise if you wish, but the light, it will be a healthier choice. Don't get a mayonnaise spread. Do you want to get an actual mayonnaise? Again, it's about a cup. Okay, so I've got about a cup of the light mayonnaise and I'm going to put that into my mixing bowl. I'm going to take the crushed sea salt, crushed black pepper, And the sugar and a, and a drizzle of honey. And a drizzle of honey. I'm also going to take a lemon uh, that which we got from our lemon tree. Did it call it a Meyer lemon? which as you could tell by here you could see that it's a very thin skin but a lot of meat a lot of juice and both a sweet and sour so this would be very these are very good for cooking and putting on salads and chicken and fish so that's freshly picked from our front yard yes freshly picked. oh boy is not that look good mm, mm -mm. i sure love that smell I'm going to give it a nice, a nice uh, squeeze here. And then I'm going to mix it up real well. So, as you can see, this is well, well mixed. You want it to have it very well put together to all the flavors mix together very nicely. So in this case now we're going to now add it to our broccoli mixture here. Everything is coated nicely. Once it's all mixed, I'm, I'm going to going to take a little taste to make sure everything has come together nicely here. Nice variety of colors and texture. Mm. Very good. I could taste the the nut, the fruit. Definitely the, the broccoli. <clears throat> the yogurt just adds a real good panache to it. This very well. And now that this looks like it's uh, mixed pretty well, now I'm going to add the apples. This is apples that are, uh, I'm using green Granny Smith apples and putting them into small bite-sized pieces. You don't want them real big. You just want them to add nice texture. And the reason why I use the green apples is because it's a little on the tart side, which cuts the sweetness and adds a, an, an extra layer of flavor. Of flavor. So 
you just fold it in and then at this point I think once you're ready all you have to do is take a saran wrap and cover it put it in the refrigerator so it stays nice and chilled and actually it it will stay good in your refrigerator for about about three to four days uh, before having to actually use it if you're preparing ahead of time before a, before a gathering okay so a good healthy alternative this this stretches this goes great for lunches for snacks for dinners this will be great for holiday gatherings and parties people will love them you will love them well I hope you enjoyed watching us in the kitchen as we as, as we prepare a healthy uh, alternative for for a Christmas dish. So in behalf of of Colin and Paul we would like to wish you a Merry Christmas <laughs> and a Malagayong Pasco <laughs> at Manigong Bagong Taon which means Happy New Year. Happy New Year's. So to everybody out there thank you for following along with us uh, this last year in, in our journey. Yeah, it's been actually it's about a year now since about we year. started doing our vlogs. And we appreciate everybody following along with us and following our craziness and escapades and our ups and our downs. Thank you so much. A lot more to come next year. Don't forget to click the, the icon so you can subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to, to also hit that bell so you always are abreast as to when we uh, upload more content. So until next time. Until next year with more years to come, hopefully. <laughs> so, we, we wish, wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.